Hello and welcome to another video. If you've been following Star Citizen in at least some quantity, you'll know that the game is in its alpha stage, and that it's been in this stage for a while now. CIG usually releases updates quarterly for the Persistent Universe, and 3.17 is now live. Instead of covering this update, which others like Morphologists already have, we will be talking about the update that's right around the corner, Alpha 3.18, the salvage update. First to get a spot on the show today, the cargo refactor will change how cargo haulers operate. The refactor has been worked on by the AFT, NARR, Props, and USPU teams, and it will allow haulers to pick up, move around, and load purchased or found cargo. This will affect the loot system as when you find a wreck or other area with cargo, you will be able to not only loot the bodies and loot boxes, but the cargo that was in those boxes as well. Hole stripping is another gameplay element expected to be released in 3.18 and opens up more opportunities for salvage operations to create a profit. The update will allow you to perform both hull stripping and repairs by hand, and will allow players operating the Drake Vulture to perform hull stripping. More on that later. On second thought, we might as well cover that now. The Drake Vulture is a one man salvage ship and is capable of operating in dangerous or distant areas. It features scrapper beams, an integrated tractor rig, and some cargo space. We will be covering this ship in depth when it is released later on, so make sure you're subscribed for that. A new salvage tool will be released with this update as well, and the name, as the name might suggest, it will allow players to conduct hull stripping by hand. And that's pretty much all it does. It's an attachment for your Grey Cat multi-tool. And it's literally just the salvage attachment, honestly. Not that difficult to understand. If y'all are interested in joining Star Citizen, I do have a referral code which will grant you an extra 5,000 UEC in in-game starting cash, which can be used to purchase weapons, tools, upgrades, clothing, and more, and can be quite useful. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and maybe subscribe. And if you really want to go to the exercise, maybe even check out my Discord. I don't know.